are computers capable of creativity. At a first glance, even the most experienced of art buffs would probably guess this painting is a portrait from the 18th or 19th century. But the artist's signature is the giveaway clue that this is no ordinary piece of art. An algorithm formula of a software that was fed 15,000 paintings from the 14th to 20th century in order to recognize the visual elements of fine art. There are, of course, humans behind the technology. A French art collective mixing together individual creativity and artificial intelligence. We are the artists because no matter what, it was our intention to create the image, not the algorithms. We used it as a tool, which might be capable of some type of creativity, but that does not take away from the fact that people put it in the instructions, printed on a canvas, signed with a mathematical equation, and put it in a gold frame. The portrait of Edmund Bellamy is making waves in the art world. It is the first piece of art created by an algorithm to be auctioned, going for 380,000 euros, nearly 45 times higher than its estimate. Slightly a tipping point, not only is this recognisably a portrait that a human might have painted, but also then to move it into a sale at Christie's, which is sort of the epicentre of the traditional art world. So will artworks created by artificial intelligence one day be displayed in museums? Computers creating art is not a new concept. In 2016, artificial intelligence produced the next Rembrandt, which looks unmistakably like a portrait painted by the Dutch artist himself. But whether an algorithm can ever be considered as a true artist remains a controversial question.